Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I got another Baseball Max game for you here today. We are going to do one of the other features, use one of the other features that Baseball Max has. You've seen me start a season with the 1972 White Sox, and you have seen me do a Today game, a game from today's slate of games between two teams in the major leagues. But one of the other features it has is you can take two random teams from history and play them against each other. Now you can do this if you have the PC game, but you have to have the rosters for those seasons, which means you have to buy the rosters for those seasons. In Max, if you have Max, you can just pull those teams out from, <laughs> from out your butt and play them against each other. And that's what we're going to do today. Today we are going to take the 2001 Mariners, which won 116 games somehow, and we're going to play them against the 1927 New York Yankees and see which one can come out on top. So um, we've got my lineup and picture there, but let's do the comparison here. Okay, so yeah, all right. So yeah, let's do our let's go through our lineup. Um, the Yankees will be pitching Wade Hoyt, and the lineup that we're going to be sending up against them is Mark McLemore leading off and playing left field, followed by Ichiro Suzuki playing right field, followed by in the third spot Brett Boone, the second baseman. And then Edgar Martinez will be at first. Mike Cameron will be in center. L. Martin is going to be the DH. David Bell will be the third baseman. Dan Wilson will catch. And Carlos Guillen will be the shortstop. And his lineup is going to be Earl Combs leading off and playing center field, followed by Mark Koenig at shortstop. And then the Babe, Babe Ruth, will bat in the third spot, play right field. Lou Gehrig will play first base and bat in the cleanup spot, followed by Tony Lazari in the fifth spot at second base. Bob Musial will play left field and bat sixth, followed by Pat Collins at catcher in the seventh spot. Joe Dugan is the third baseman today, and he'll bat eighth, followed in the ninth spot by by Grabowski, who will be the DH, because they have to come up with one, which, you know, the Yankees did not play with a DH in 1927, because nobody did. And with all of that said, let's get on with this game. So we've already gone over the lineups and the pitchers. Wait Hoyt against Jamie Moyer, who had a 343 earned run average and a 110 whip. Let's see if he can tame this New York Yankee lineup. And the umpire says, play ball. And Earl Combs is leading off and batting against Jamie Moyer. And that is going to be a 111, which is a pop out to first. Earl Combs gone. One down, and here is Mark Koenig. And he gets a 411, which is a walk. Walking Mark Koenig in this lineup is not a great idea. And then the Babe is up next. And he's going to get a 4-5, which is a fly ball. It gets the Babe to fly out to left field. And with two down, here is Lou Gehrig. And he is going to get a pop out to second. So Jamie Moyer tames the, uh, the uh, uh, wrecking ball of a 27 Yankee lineup in the first inning. And now we've got Mark McLemore going up against Wait Hoyt. And that is going to be a 2-11, which is a ground ball, so McLemore is out. It brings up Ichiro, Ichiro Suzuki. And he's going to get a 1-3, which is a ground ball, the first base, so he's out. And that will bring up Brett Boone. Brett Boone is going to wait for it. He's going to line out. 
So the uh, Mariners go one, two, three in the first. We go to the top of the second with Tony Lazzari facing Jamie Moyer. And that will be a single one to nine. Let's see if they can pull it down. And they do. He gets a one. So he is aboard. Tony Lazzari is aboard for the Yankees with nobody out. And Bob Musil is up. And uh, batter pops up. All right. So he's out. There is one down and Pat Collins. Look at all those walks for Pat Collins. But he's going to get a 6-5, which is a home run 1-5. to five. Or a double. He gets the double. And so Pat Collins, let's see if they are going to send the runner to try to score. Lazari takes third, so they are not going to do that. But they do have runners at second and third. With only one down and Joe Dugan up. And Joe Dugan's getting a 5-4. It's a fly ball to center field to Mike Cameron. And uh, they yes, that was a sack fly. So the Yankees have a one nothing lead and Johnny Grabowski is up. And again, he has a lot of walks himself. 4-6, though, he opts for, again for the uh, big hit. <clears throat> These guys with a lot of walks are saying, no, let's just hit the ball. He gets a single and drives in the second Yankee run, and so now the 27 Yankees have a 2 nothing lead here on the 2001 116-win Mariners. And Earl Combs is the batter. Earl Combs is going to fly out. So that ends the Yankee threat, but not before they get two runs on three hits. And uh, <clears throat> take a 2 nothing lead, and... Edgar Martinez will face Wait Hoyt here to lead off the Mariners second. And he is going to have a slight possibility of a hit, single one to three. And he does get it. He gets the two. So he's aboard. We can try to stretch it to a double, but I'm going to say no on that. It's Edgar Martinez. And so he is going to be at first with Mike Cameron up. And Mike Cameron is going to get a possible triple here if he can pull down the one to three. He can't. It's a single. And runners are at the corners for Al Martin, big Al Martin. Let's see what he can do. Six, eight, six, seven, single. So he singles in a run, and the Mariners have there on the board. And I can try to take third with the guy at first. It's a 75% chance I'm going to do it because we're playing the 27 Yankees. You can't play around here. you got to try to be aggressive and take them down. And they cut off the throw, so um, the runner is safe. And we have runners at the corners with Reds manager David Bell at the plate. And he is going to get a ballpark single, but it's only a one to two chance. And it is a line out. So that is going to be the first out, but we still have runners at the corners, only down by one, and catcher Dan Wilson at the plate. And he is going to fly out B. That's a possible sack fly, but I have to decide to send him. Lead runner 80%. I am going to send him. Runner being waved home. Throw cut off. So the runner scores, and we have a tie game here between the 2001 Mariners and the 27 Yankees. And that brings up Carlos Guillen. And that is going to be a 5-5, five, five, single 1-4, to four, and it's a line out. So the Mariners are out of the inning, and New York is coming up here in the third, but they did tie the game up. It's 2-2 two, two as we go to the top of the third inning, and Mark Koenig, the leadoff batter for the Yankees. That'll be a ground ball to first base, and it's a single. 
So he's aboard, and that brings up the Babe. Babe Ruth. Nice card there. It's a 1-6, and that's a walk. So he's aboard. There's two on. The Yankees have two on for Lou Gehrig. Doesn't get any easier with this Yankees lineup. And that's a 4-4. Four, four. That's going to be a ground ball to third, and it is a ground out. But runners move over to second and third, so now they've got runners at second and third with only one out, and Tony Lazari is the batter. It's a good thing the uh, Mariners got those two runs last inning because they're going to need every run they can get. That's a strikeout. So there's two down and Bob Musil up. And he gets a 3-2. That's a fly ball. So Janie Moyer escapes a little trouble there and holds the Yankees to nothing. As we go to the bottom of the third inning where Mark McLemore, the leadoff hitter for the Mariners, will greet Wade Hoyt. And he strikes out. Now Wade Hoyt has an inning of weakness of nine, so don't expect Wade Hoyt to be leaving this game unless he pitches horribly, which we don't expect to happen. That's a ground ball to shortstop for Suzuki. And that brings up Brett Boone with two down and nobody aboard. And that will be a line out to first base. So the Mariners go one, two, three in the third. We go to the top of the fourth where Pat Collins will greet Jamie Moyer here in a 2-2 game. That's going to be a 5-12. That's a fly ball to left. So Collins is out. There's one down quickly. He had doubled last time, if you recall. And Joe Dugan is the batter. He'll get a 5-4. That's a fly out to Cameron, and it is an out. So two down, and Johnny Grabowski is the batter. And he will get a ground ball to short. So we got a 2-2 game here going to the bottom of the fourth. The Mariners are hanging with the 27 Yankees, and Edgar Martinez is going to be the batter. He gets a 2-6. That's a walk. He's aboard. And that brings up Mike Cameron. And we are going to try to sacrifice with Mike Cameron. Chance of a successful bunt, 81%. I will try it. The ball is bunted. Great bunt. Batter might beat it out. Let's see if he can do it. Safe 1-17. to This would be big for the Mariners. And he does. So now the Mariners have two aboard with nobody out and yes he's safe and that that paves the way for Al Martin to do something big here for the Mariners faithful and he does he's gonna get a double 1 to 12 possibility or even a single would be great and it is a double it's a double and it knocks in at least one run and the runner can try to score. It's 95%. I am going to send him for sure. Even with no outs. A little risky. Throw was cut off, though. The, Mar the uh, Yankees are going to let the run score. And we have a 4-2 lead for the Mariners with a man at second and David Bell, the batter. And David Bell is going to get a pop out to second base. That's the first out of the inning here in the fourth for the Mariners. And Dan Wilson, the catcher, is the batter. He'll get a 6-6. Six, six. That is a possible double, but only on a 1-2. to two. <clears throat> And it is a fly out. So there are two down. And Carlos Guillen is the batter. And that's a 2-10, 2-9. Home run 1-6 possibility by Carlos Guillen. And it's a double, but it knocks in another run. And the Mariners extend their lead to 5-2 with Mark McLemore, the leadoff batter, up. And he's going to pop out to short. But we touched Wade Hoyt up for three runs there in the fourth. We're going to the top of the fifth with Earl Combs batting against Jamie Moyer. And that is going to be a single one to 11. A little over a 50% chance, 55% chance, but it's a line out. So he's out, 
one down pretty quickly here. And Mark Koenig, the second batter in the lineup. 3-7. Mark Koenig, that dude is just working his way on every time. Possible single here, and it is. He gets a single, and so Koenig is aboard. And that brings up the Babe. Now, the Babe could launch one and bring the Yankees to within one run. But instead, he gets a ballpark single, which is only one to two. And he does line out. And that leaves it up to Lou Gehrig. Now, if you're going to leave it up to somebody, I guess Lou Gehrig's as good as anyone. Lou Gehrig will be batting with two down and a man at first base. And he gets a 5-5. Five, five. That's a ground ball to Guillen. And Guillen gets the force play out. And the Yankees are out of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning with Ichiro up. Ichiro will be the leadoff batter here, greeting Wade Hoyt. But he's out. Ichiro has been relatively quiet today. That brings up Brett Boone. Booney. And he is going to get a ground ball, so that's an out. Looks like the magic may have slipped away for the Mariners, but do they have enough to hold on? That would be the question if they didn't score any more runs. But there's a single for Edgar Martinez. He's aboard with two down, and Mike Cameron is up. Mike Cameron is going to fly out. So the Mariners go relatively quickly there. They only get one man on. They leave him stranded, and we go to the top of the sixth. The Yankees down by three, and with Tony Lazeri up against Jamie Moyer. That'll be a 5-3, uh, which is a fly ball to left, and it is an out. Bob Musel's up, and he gets a 1-8. That's a possible home run. It's a home run 1-2, or a double, and it is a double. So Musel's up at second with one down, and Pat Collins up. Look at that on-base card. It's crazy. But he's going to get a ground ball to short. So there are two down. And that will bring up Joe Dugan, the third baseman. He gets a 3-9. That's a single. Is it going to score the man from second? That's the question. No. What happened there? He was out. Somehow he was out on that single. I don't even know what happened there. All right, well, I will take it. The Mariners will take it. So now the Mariners are up with Al Martin up. He gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. Hoyt has to hold them right here because he cannot afford to allow any more runs with the way Moyer has been pitching today. That's going to be a line out to first base. There's two down. And Danny Wilson is the batter, and he's going to get a fly ball. So the Mariners are out of the sixth. Getting late for the Yankees, top of the seventh inning. And Johnny Grabowski is the batter. He's going to get a 1 6, nice on base column there, and he walks. So he's aboard, and that brings up Earl Combs. Let's see if the bottom of this lineup can do some damage to Moyer. He lines out, though. So there's one down with a man at first, and Koenig is the batter. Koenig gets a 110. That's a fly to center. There's two down. And the Babe comes up. This is right here. They need this home run. They need a home run right here from the Babe. But doesn't look like he's going to get it. Dan Wilson makes the play in foul territory. And the Yankees are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And Carlos Guillen is up. 1-6, that's going to be a fly to left. So there's one down, and Mark McLemore is the batter. He gets a 3-11. That is going to be a possible single there. And it is. It is a single. Mark McLemore is aboard with each row coming up right behind him. The incredibly good hitting Ichiro is going to ground into a, uh, a play at shortstop. 
And so now each row is at first with two down, and Brett Boone is the batter. And that will be a ground ball shortstop. And Lou Gehrig is the New York Yankees batter. Jamie Moyer is in the red right now. He is seriously in the red, so I am going to go to the bullpen. Um, let's see. And we are going to take him out. He has thrown 123 of 87 pitches that he is good with pitching, so... Let's go to the nasty boy, Norm Charlton. We're going to bring in Norm Charlton. And he is going to face Lou Gehrig. That's going to be a 5-7. That's a ground ball to second, and it is a ground out. So Gehrig is retired. The big home run hitters here for the Yankees have not done it today, and that's been probably the difference in this game. That's going to be a fly to uh, center field for Lazari, which brings up Bob Musel. And that's going to be a 5-6, and it's a strikeout. So the Yankees are only going to have one more inning to get at least three runs, maybe more if the Mariners can score a run or two here. Martinez facing Wade Hoyt. As expected, Wade Hoyt isn't going anywhere. That's a single one to two, ballpark single. But it's a line out, so there's one down quickly. And Mike Cameron is the batter. Back to the top of the Mariners lineup. He gets a 4-3. That is a fly to left, and that's a fly out. So that brings up Al Martin with two down, nobody aboard. And that's going to be a fly to center. So the Mariners are out of the eighth. We're going to the top of the ninth. The New York Yankees need three runs to tie this game and four to take the lead. With Pat Collins up. He gets a 5-6, and Charlton blows him away. That's one down quickly, and Joe Dugan is the batter. Joe Dugan gets a 5-8. That's a strikeout. He gets blown away. Charlton is not playing around here. And that brings up Johnny Grabowski. And Johnny Grabowski is going to strike out. So Norm Charlton strikes out the side in the ninth. The Mariners win this one by the score of 5-2. to two. You can see the box score right there. The uh, Mariners had eight hits in 31 at-bats and scored knocked in five runs. The Yankees had six hits in 32 at-bats. Uh, Wade Hoyt went eight. He allowed eight hits, walked a man, and allowed five earned runs. Jamie Moyer went seven. He allowed six hits, walked three, and allowed only two earned runs. And then Norm Charlton came in and struck out four guys in two innings and allowed nobody to reach base for the win. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.